What up, Casey here with Living Youthful. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. So today we're jumping back into GHKCU, except I wanna discuss the capsules today. So we're gonna be going over the benefits real quick. We're gonna go off scientific research for the best dosage of these capsules. They have enteric or nanoparticle coatings that allow them to get through the digestive tract without being completely demolished. With that being said, let's get into it. So GHKCU, research has shown that it has gained attention to its potential benefits in health, skin care, and wound healing. Neutralizes free radicals. Protects cells from oxidative stress reducing damage caused by UV radiation and environmental toxins. Stimulates collagen production. Promotes the synthesis of collagen elastin which improves skin firmness and elasticity. Boosts wound healing. Enhances the repair of damaged skin promoting faster recovery from cuts, abrasions, and burns. Anti-inflammatory properties. Helps reduce inflammation, redness, and irritation in the skin. And last but not least, promotes hair growth. It improves blood circulation in the scalp and stimulates hair follicles leading to healthier, thicker hair. These are capsule form. These, 60 capsules per one bottle. Research has shown that taking 2 mg or 2,000 micrograms a day for one to three months can be very beneficial. Take a 30 day break for receptor sites and overall just allowing the copper so you don't overdo it. So just one of these a day, no more. These peptides have enteric coatings which make them much, much thicker than a normal capsule to be able to get through the digestive system without being completely demolished. But with that being said, if you guys are interested in researching other peptides, or learning about peptides, definitely check out my channel. I have a few on there. If this video has brought you guys value, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.